Hey guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Want to Watch. Welcome back to another Sunday flea market haul. I hope you enjoyed what I got. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Let's go. Alrighty guys, well I say we start right off with this one. A um, couple of bucks, I bought a little aquarium nightlight for my youngest son. Uh, it's been running about an hour and it hasn't heated up, so I think we're in good shape. It was new in the box, so I wasn't really too worried about it, but you never know. Uh, next, I got this two-piece fishing pole. This is a light action tip. There's no writing on there. I thought there would have been, but there isn't. It kind of looked like an ugly stick, but it's not. Um, the foam handles are pretty much dry rotted and shot, but I have a local guy that, I mean, literally lives right down the street. He he does this stuff for uh, fun. He rewraps fishing poles and stuff. And, uh, you know, one of these rainy days, I'll bring it up to him and say, hey, man, you know, could you throw some cork or some foam on there for me? And, uh, yeah, he'll uh, do it up just fine. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think I paid two bucks for the fishing pole. I paid a couple of bucks for the light. I paid $4 for four wooden handle paintbrushes. They're all four inch paintbrushes and uh, quite happy with that. I've got to paint the outside of my shop this spring so they'll come in handy. Uh, I got this brown and sharp little wooden box. Saw it and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Unfortunately, somebody painted it, but I'm pretty sure I can get that off there. So ain't nothing but a thing. I like these little wooden boxes. Uh, next, I got a number 33 Cliff Lee bobblehead doll. Paid a couple of bucks for this too. And, uh, you know, I'll just wind up giving it to my little guy. So, that's rather awesome. Next, I got this machinist box here. It's Craftsman. Uh, my oldest son's tools are starting to get to where he's grown out of his little toolbox. So... Now he's getting an upgrade. So it's just a standard little Craftsman toolbox. Paid 20 bucks for it and uh, I think it's going to be perfect for him. So perfect little upgrade. And it even has some pretty cool stickers on there. Edelbrock, Excel. Can't beat that, right? Oh, next. Got a nice little selection of tools here. I believe this was eight dollars. Everything here was eight bucks. Uh, I got a plumb bob with a retractable cordage on there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got a Stanley 100 plus. This is a number three Phillips. It's in really good shape too. I've got another perfect handle screwdriver. Handles are in perfect shape. Nothing loose, anything like that. But this thing has been sitting in some water at some time in its life. Look at that. You can see where it starts, you know? So, that'll have to be cleaned up. I'm probably going to send this off to somebody who can't find these in their area. I've got enough, you know? But this is like a real sick disease I have, you know, I gotta, I see them, I gotta buy them. Um, the wife found a nice diamond screwdriver today. This will be the second one that I own. Pretty happy about that. I found a little four inch pair, diamond alloy, diamond caulk, diamond caulk and horseshoe, slip joint pliers, in Duluth, Minnesota quite awesome they're in rough shape but hey the handles are on there the chrome's not too far gone I think these will clean up just fine and be excellent in my little collection so quite happy to have those along with this screwdriver so got a nice six inch fleet extension it's a uh, half inch half inch extension Let's see, this is a Husky 3 8 ratchet I picked up. It's it's a little chuggy. Um, 
kind of need some work I'll pull it apart and uh, clean her up and go split ring still in good shape so that'll be easy to pop out of there and disassemble it and get it all cleaned up um, got a box wrench it's just made in the USA three quarter and 25 30 seconds um, but this will fit perfect on my bell door grinder that I have underneath my table so uh, that's basically why I picked this up so quite happy to have picked that up a um, little quarter inch flexible jobber do these things are so handy I needed one the other day and I couldn't find mine so luckily I found one today so boom got one and that's gonna go right in the top of my toolbox so I always know where it is um, got a craftsman machinist screwdriver this things in really good shape I have a fantastic shape to be honest with you so I'm always happy to find these I got another one but this one's a, uh, a Miller's Falls so that's kind of cool I don't find these Miller's Falls ones too often so awesome to have gotten that one as well and again perfect shape got a nice little Craftsman 50 foot black and white tape and it even has it even has the uh, it says uh, the little arrows on there equals 16 inch stud on center so if you were to pull it out 16 inches it's got the little arrows on there to show you where it is so it's actually at 14 and uh, it's right at 14 so but yeah quite happy to have found that operates just nice so yeah that's pretty cool and two snap-on screwdrivers uh, one of them the top ones the newer style this is like the 50s right here style and this is the newer style to where they're trying to duplicate the 50s but uh, yeah really nice screwdrivers and uh, hey come on guys they're snap-on right <clears throat> my big buy for the day is this right here this is a craftsman box but what's in it is not craftsman I picked up a rigid pipe threader so I've got all the heads with the exception of inch and a half and two inch yeah inch and a half and two inches is what I'm missing got a really nice rigid cutter the handles in there and it also came with two tubing tools two benders so quite happy with that this was 50 bucks and uh, yeah I mean I got a really good deal on it so quite cool Alrighty guys, well we are all done with this one. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to put in the comment section what you think the best buy of today was. Me, personally, I think it's these little 4 inch diamond caulk and horseshoe slip joint pliers. But uh, no, I think we got some really good deals and uh, you know, I'm quite happy with it. So like always guys, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.